Namaste. Welcome to the session 8 of the course Yoga and Positive Psychology for Managing Career and Life. In this session, we are going to look at notion of self and well-being in yogic perspective. In this session, as like previous sessions, we will have a quick recap. Uh, we will look at how to distinguish the different sheets or different koshas. Uh, through which self is reflected. We briefly mentioned about the Pancha Kosha in the previous session. Uh, we are going to have more detailed discussion on that. Uh, we will examine the notion of mind. Notion of mind is very interesting and very intriguing for the contemporary science and technology field. What we can infer about the mind based on the notion or based on the concept of Panchakosha, that is what we are going to look at. We will look at the varied concepts of happiness in yogic system, uh, how different diseases are connected to different koshas that also we are going to look at. Then we will look at factors affecting the well-being at different koshas, uh, metaphysics behind the yogic perspective of self and well-being. And towards the end, uh, we will look at a very interesting uh, typology of the different levels of bliss and different levels of well-being. It is given in the Petri Upanishad uh, and that presents a uh, very interesting perspective of different levels of well-being as prescribed in the yogic tradition. So, like all other session, quick recap. In the last session, we looked at the definition of health and well-being given in the Ayurveda uh, that is Samadosha, Samagnishya, Samadhatu, Malakriya, Prasannatmendriya, Manah, Swasthya, Itya, Vidhiyate. Uh, we discussed about what are the doshas, what are the agni, what is the, uh, what are the dhatus, what is Malakriya and we also looked at importance of uh, prasannata, importance of happiness at, uh, at the level of senses, also at the level of manu, which is important aspect of swasthya. This all is based on the notion of self, which is beautifully captured in the allegory of chariot uh, given in the Kathopanishad. That is what also we discussed in the previous session. So, Indian perspective of health and well-being as it is reflected in Ayurveda and uh, widely prescribed in the yogic tradition is captured in the word swasthya. Swasthya means self, isthita. Swa is self, istha is related to the term isthit, established. So, when we are established in our true self, that is swasthya, that is health, that is the foundation of well being in the Indian perspective and the yogic perspective. And self includes physical, mental, emotional, intellectual and spiritual component. And stability means lack of diseases, positive approach towards overall quality of life. Opposite to swasthya is vyadhi, a state of non-health and that is also opposite to samadhi. So, disease according to the yogic uh, tradition, we have to distinguish at this moment. In the last session, we looked at the source of diseases as described in the Charak Sanhita and that is Agantava which means, uh, which can be comparable to the diseases caused by, disease cause, causing agents uh, uh, come from outside. Then because of the uh, nature of the person, because of the uh, habits, these are the different sources of the diseases. In the yoga, uh, uh, which primarily, uh, particularly the Patanjali yoga, which primarily looks at the mental health uh, or psychological health, it talks about panch kleshas, which are psychological afflictions. And 
these are the sources of the disease at the mental level or at the manomaya kosh and vigyanamaya kosh level. Panch kleshas are avidya, asmita, rag and dvesh and abhinivesh. Avidya is ignorance, ignorance of the ultimate reality. Uh, asmita is ego, egoism, identifying with non-self, identifying which is the fleeting nature, but if we start identifying that as our permanent self, that is the issue of asmita. Rag dvesh, too much of attachment and too much of aversion up with anything that uh, results into afflictions and abhinivesh, clinging on to the life or fear of unknown or in the normal life it is reflected in our tendency to perpetuate our name and fame and doing access to, to, to meet that objective. Uh, in the yoga darshan it talks about these five kleshas which are the afflictions and which are the causes of mental ailments. You might remember the three caselets we looked at in the last session. The caselet uh, of uh, Gopal who is fond of uh, good food and his liking for the food uh, led him to the trouble. Uh, we had also a case of Samuel uh, who did not restrain his uh, uh, sexual relationships and because of that he suffered and case of Raja who was not uh, clear what is his want, what is his liking, what is his swadharma in his life and he could not pursue what was natural aptitude of him and because of that in spite of uh, uh, being successful, looking successful professionally, he has lost the joy of life in, in his uh, uh, being. So, can you connect all these three cases with any of the five afflictions? First case of Gopal, the boy who uh, did not control his urge to enjoy food that is rag, that is avidya because he did not uh, give attention, give, did not consider the seriousness of not following the uh, regime and discipline of right food. He was also too much attached to the sense of taste. The second case of Samuel is clearly the issue of his rag means too much attachment to one sense, in his case it was sexuality. It was also little bit a case of Abhinivesh, he started identifying having multiple partners started giving him a false sense of Asmita and Abhinivesh and that combination resulted into the situation in which he only suffered. Third case of Raja is misplaced asmita. He started confusing success with a certain type of profession and he did not really discover his true self. So, misplaced asmita resulted into uh, loss of joy in his profession. It is of course, connected to little bit of avidya as well because he did not give sufficient attention to importance of aptitude, importance of uh, uh, experimentation in life, importance of uh, uh, dis, um, uh, discovering uniqueness in our personality, all these are also uh, in a way avidya, but it is reflected in the misplaced asmita. So, we can see that uh, uh, mental diseases or the sometime even the physical ailment are result of many psychological afflictions which are talked in the Yoga Sutra. At this stage, I would like to invite you to look at any problem or concern you see and you wish to attend, you wish to address in yourself, in your personality. That does not mean you have, you are a problem child or you are a problematic person. That means, we all are work in progress wherever whichever stage of career and life we are there is 
ample scope for all of us to improve further. So, please look at this question in light of the fact that wherever we are, we can move further, we can do better and in order for us to be better professional or a better human being, what are the problems, what are the things if we can address, if we address in ourselves, we will be able to be more effective professional and more successful professional and more joyful uh, human being. So, this can be related to physical fitness, time management, relationship management, our ability to solve problems, our ability to make decisions or any other challenges. At this stage, you can write down what is one thing which can make you better professional or more joyful and swastya, swastha human being. List those things and try to connect these things with the five kleshas, uh, the kleshas of avidya, asmita, rag, dvesh, abhinivesh. That can be a good reflective exercise. Because once we know the reasoning, once we know the actual afflictions, the basic afflictions uh, behind these problems, we will be able to address these. Because awareness is the beginning of our ability to address the problem. So, uh, I invite you to do this reflection. Those who are registered for the NPTEL course, anyways they uh, will be receiving a format in which they can do the reflection and then they can uh, submit that as, as their assignment.